I like to tell people that my life truly began when I was 11 months old. I was actually born with a benign spinal tumor that went undiagnosed for the first 11 months of my life. During that time, the tumor became infected and inflamed and actually crushed my spinal cord, uh, resulting in the incomplete paralysis of my lower extremities. So yeah, growing up with a disability, it's all I know. It's all I remember. Watch the cut, watch the cut. To be honest with you, growing up with a disability is not easy. Uh, at that age, the last thing you could possibly want is to be different. And it's particularly tough with a disability because everyone can see your differences. You know, those flaws that you think that you have, those insecurities are constantly on display to the world around you. I remember I would have these adolescent worries like, you know, will my friends continue to accept me if I, if I can't play sports with them at a, high, at a high level? Or, you know, in middle school and high school, I used to wear these big clunky braces and walk with crutches. And I was always petrified to wear shorts because I never wanted anyone to truly see how different I really was. So, um, yeah, it did have a big impact on my life and it did shape uh, me as a person up until this point. I was able to find a game, this wonderful game of wheelchair basketball, that has empowered me to embrace what makes me different. I was forced to learn at a young age that by embracing those differences, I was able to shatter any and all limits anyone would ever try to place on me. Eventually, you know, those differences, those insecurities became my strength as I was able to turn them into lessons to better myself. I remember so vividly what it felt like to sit in a basketball wheelchair for the first time. I remember sitting in that chair, pushing up and down the court as fast as I possibly could. And I remember thinking that, oh my God, this was the very first time that I have some sort of control of the direction of my life. And I'm so grateful for finding this game that has given me everything that I have in this world. That freedom that I talked about, about the first time when I sat in a wheelchair, it is an intoxicating feeling. And I knew from that very moment that this was something that I wanted to dedicate my entire life for. When I started playing, it was really about wins or losses. It was about what I defined as success on the court. And uh, the hard, my hard work, determination, it allowed me to go to places in the sport that I never dreamed possible. But now, how I got to the New York Knicks, it's more about inclusion, it's more about uh, more about branding adaptive sports and trying to increase the awareness throughout the community. Uh, one of the best things about being on this team is that the New York Knicks have been so supportive of uh, the New York Roland Knicks. Um, they include us in a, a number of community events. It allows us to increase the awareness of adaptive sports and uh, I'm just obviously so grateful to be a part of this organization. So much goes into winning a gold medal at a Paralympic Games. And a lot of people look at this medal and think that, you know, we just had success at that one tournament. But for me personally, it took me over a decade to win this gold medal. Uh, my first Paralympic experience was in Beijing in 2008, and we actually finished fourth at those games. Uh, fast forward four years to London when uh, in 2012 and we actually won bronze which again it wasn't the ultimate goal but it was an important step to know that I could have some success at this level uh, and then finally fast forward four more years we were finally able to accomplish this goal of sitting on top of that podium wearing a gold medal. What I want to leave uh, this game um, I want people to know that Everything wasn't always about success. It was about the process. It was about improving both on and off the court and turning each experience into a lesson to better myself. So many people want the instant gratification these days. They just want to step onto a field to play about a sport that they've never played before and have immediate success. But you know, it took me over a decade to accomplish my dreams and there was a lot of ups and downs throughout it. When I look back on my career, I won't remember the awards, I won't remember the, the, the medals. What I'll remember are those experiences that I had with my teammates through the good and the bad. And not only growing as a person, but also growing as a team with my fellow athletes.